injuries that were not only sports related. Such incidents in the school sports scene has led the Education Ministry to set up a committee in May to review safety practices in school sports. And the Sports Safety Committee has just released its recommendations. It called for teachers in charge of co-curricular activities to be provided with more safety training and support. It is also suggested that more physical education teachers should be hired. Another recommendation that schools make information on safety practices accessible and engage parents through briefings. I feel that more importantly is the environments must be supported by qualified people, you know, in the events that any sort of hazards happens, you know, one possible way to fill those gaps. Huh? What the school could do is probably to, to involve the parents in the events that there's anything that's needed. You know? I think parental support is important. The committee also suggested enhancing safety guidelines for contact and high-intensity sports where there is a higher risk of injuries. This can then be regularly reviewed by schools which should decide if follow-up action is needed. I would say this is a good safety layer or safety net. Okay, what we have is at this moment is at this much. And it, it is already, I would say, uh, sufficient to cover many of the safety aspects. And with this additional proposal, it is an additional uh, safety net. You know, with, uh, with students and pupils being exposed to sports, sports competition. MOE has accepted the committee's recommendations and will work to implement most of them by 2011.